In this video, we're going to find the value of C guaranteed by the mean value theorem for integrals for this function on this interval. So that's, that's a lot to say. Let me just give you the formula and I'll explain it. So we have f of c, this is the formula, and this is equal to 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. So this is the formula that we have to use in this problem. This is a mean value theorem for integrals type problem. So this is called the average value of the function. This whole thing here, this is the average value of this function over a, b. We have to find c. We have to find c. So we basically have to work this out. So let's go ahead and work this out. So this is your a and this is your b. So this will be 1 over 3 minus 0. So 1 over 3 because it's really 3 minus 0. And then we're going from 0 to 3. So 0 to 3. And then f of x is simply x cubed. So this is x cubed. Okay, this is um, a little bit easier than I thought. Okay, so 3 minus 0, 3 minus 0. I haven't done these in a while. Um, so now you just integrate, right? You just use the power rule. So this is 1 third. So you add 1, so you get x to the 4 over 4. That's the power rule for integration. And we're going from 0 to 3. So 0 to 3. Let's clean this up a little bit. 3 times 4 is 12. So this is 1 over 12, x to the 4. And then we're going from, from 0 to 3. Good stuff. Really, really nice math. Oh, big numbers here. So you got to plug in the 3, subtract, plug in the 0. So this is equal to, I'm going to come here. It's 1 12th. This is 3 to the 4th minus 0 to the 4th. Notice how I left the constant out. You can do that, right? You can let this hang out and then plug in the numbers. So 3 to the 4th, I got to think about this. This is 1 12th. So baby math. 3 to the 4th is 3 squared, 3 squared. Ah, I see, said the blind man. It's 9 times 9, which is 81. So this is 81. So 81 over 12. So this, this is called the average value of the function over this interval because this is f of c. So that's not what the question wanted. The question wanted the value of c given by the mean value theorem for integrals. But this is called the average value. So now we have to find c. So f of c is equal to this. So basically you just take f of c and set it equal to, to this. You can use x by the way. Most of the time when I do this, I just, I just put f of x here. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, I just wanted to be really perfect this time. And plus it's already on the board, so I just called it c anyways. But you can put an x here. So this is x cubed equals 81 over 12. Okay, 81 over 12. And then to solve for x, you take the cube root of both sides. So cube root, cube root. So we end up with x equals the cube root of 81 over 12. 81 over 12. And I guess you could, you could work on simplifying this um, because you can write 81 as 3 cubed times 3, and then the cube root of 3 cubed is 3, and etc. But let's just, let's just leave it like this, uh, because that might be easier, and we can just finish, because we're done. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Oh, notice I called it x, and here it's c. You know what that's called? That's called a mistake. So I'm going to come back here and put a c here, and put a c here. All right, take care.